But I have a question here from Ryan asking, do I have any tips or recommendations on the best crypto wallets and learning for a newbie just trying to get into it? And I do. Okay, first off, a lot of people who are trying to get into cryptocurrency get, or think to themselves, I want to get into cryptocurrency. What do I need to know? So they go down the route of trying to get a wallet. Like that's the first thing. That's what a lot of guides will tell you about. Now, you don't necessarily need a wallet in order to be able to operate in cryptocurrency land. For instance, you have the likes of Coinbase that are custodians of crypto that will operate and kind of give you a wallet where they'll look after your money for you. Now, this means that you're leaving that responsibility in a sense with somebody else. And if they were to get robbed, then you'd get robbed too. But that's always been the case in a way like an old school bank. Think of it back in the day, like, you know, in the Wild West, you could keep your money under your mattress in your house, but you might get robbed by bandits. You could keep your money down in the bank downtown. Now, um, it's way safer. But of course, all the bandits know that that's where the money is in the bank, right? So, you know, it's a kind of give and take scenario. I think it's actually more or less mostly okay to leave your money for the most part on exchanges, although you do want to be able to have access to it, withdraw it and all that. But in terms of wallets, if you're looking for a wallet, you've got two ways to go, digital or hardware. Now, digital has its own sort of ways to go, digital where it's just you or digital in a sense where it's custodian and someone else is doing it. That would be what Coinbase is like, that sort of third option there. If you want to do it digitally yourself, there's apps like Trust Wallet, for example, a pretty good one that was kind of put out there by the Binance team or, or is endorsed by them or something like that. Certainly it's, it's, it's a good wallet, Trust Wallet, I think. Uh, there's plenty of others out there. Would not like to get into any wallet which is based on or likes or promotes or potentially like pushes the Ethereum ecosystem particularly. I'm not going to recommend MetaMask, to, for example, unless you specifically want to get into ERC20 tokens and Ethereum and pushing those around on the network, you're going to be exposed to huge fees. If you're just new into crypto and you're looking to get involved, by all means do. Get a MetaMask, get um, a, a wallet, get involved in Ethereum and buy some NFTs. We have NFTs that you can get as well. There's a link in the description to this video and they're sold on Ethereum. Now, um, it's great and everything but in, and, and I really do, you know, love Ethereum. However, brand new into it you're looking at using a digital wallet which is a which is a uh um which is a uh what do you call it an extension on your browser and stuff like that and it can feel a little bit kind of uh, clumsy or can feel a bit insecure to people when in fact it actually isn't and you might want to just like you know have an app on your phone you can get metamask on your phone for example actually maybe that might be the way to go um where you can where you can where you where you feel like it's contained a little bit more but as you become more familiar with crypto you'll start to get really in uh, into all of this and find it very intuitive and easy and in fact if you've got any familiarity with 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 like you know technology um, and you're able to use like all the apps on your phone easily etc then you can absolutely use any wallet that you like you know you're going to find it very easy the instructions to follow very easy there's just a couple of little gotchas along the way like you'll get a, a monomic phrase or a seed phrase that you can use to restore your wallet you're going to want to keep that very secure and safe but also you're you're not going to you're not going to want to um, put it in an email or anything like that where it could get hacked by somebody you want to keep that safe and secure offline so you don't get your money stolen because that's one of the big dangers anyway you can, as you can see there's a bit of a rabbit hole that, that ends with you just having a wallet right you haven't actually done anything at this point now, if you wanted to get involved in nfts you wouldn't need to use metamask you could use a, a, a wallet elsewhere there are other options that you can use but metamask being very much one of the straightforward and easiest ones to use so there's plenty of options out there. Uh, once you get a wallet, you can then go ahead and fund it with some crypto that you buy on an exchange. Of course, you could just use the wallet that's on the exchange, skip that other part and just, you know, buy it there and so on and so forth. But of course, that's less secure. Right. So um, so I think that kind of answers the question with the best crypto wallets. You know, So up there as one of the best crypto wallets, you're going to have MetaMask. Um, in terms of being brand new to crypto and not knowing anything about it, you're going to want to kind of find out what it is you really want to do. And then in which case, if you want it or not. So if you were brand new into crypto and you didn't want to get involved in NFTs, for instance, then I'm not going to recommend MetaMask and Ethereum and all that right now. If you're brand new to crypto and you do want to get involved in, in NFTs and that's exclusive all you want then i'm going to exclusively recommend metamask and and going off to like OpenSea or something like that now if you're just wanting to get into crypto in general and you're looking for an answer as to how to do that then it puts you in that middle phase and i would say that 
focusing on a wallet alone is not really it that's not it because um because because that's just what the what all of the kind of the the easy to write copying each other articles and stuff like that will tell you to do and it's a mind trap that will leave you maybe spending weeks and weeks and weeks not involved in crypto as you what what you really wanted to do was to buy someone to profit from it so you could sell it later and that was it and instead you spend weeks looking at a, a wallet and i've got friends in the community here that have experienced that exact thing over the last six months looking to try and get a wallet a hardware wallet specifically now if you are looking at hardware wallets i'd also look out to see which ones are more reliable than others you've got the likes of ledger etc out there but you want to go to see which ones have been like hacked recently which ones have got uh, if you're really interested in hardware wallets then you might as well do the full job and see if any of the hardware wallets can be hacked you know so if it got stolen etc and all that that you would you would be able to, you know if you're looking to get it properly locked down and secure but it's again it's a shoestring right how long are you going to chase it that string can go on for hours right the next part of your question was, do you have any um, learning for a newbie just trying to get into it all here, right? Well, I think that's probably going to have cut out, that's going to have given you inspiration, I think, just knowing that it's not about the wallet, if that's what you were caught on before, because it's a mind trap, and that'll help with the newbie. But there's plenty out there. I, I would say, you, like, use my affiliate link uh, in the in the descriptions of these videos and stuff to join KuCoin and to join Coinbase and to join um, uh, things like uh coin market cap website and take part in their giveaways well they'll give you some crypto just for learning about crypto right one of the best ways to learn about crypto is to be paid to learn about crypto and you can do that through these exchanges so coinbase for example do that uh, and so do uh, you know kucoin and so do coin market cap great stuff by all means please use my affiliate code so that they oh, you scratch my back and all that but then um uh, and that'll teach you a lot about it. But you, what you're going to do is um, if you get stuck into any one particular crypto, you'll find that you're probably in an echo chamber talking to other people who are telling you it's the best thing ever. And then, you know, you could think that not knowing that there's an equal um, exact parallel conversation happening in another Discord on some other crypto and an equal in somewhere else and that you can become isolated. You want to just want to have a broad look at things, look at the markets, look at how things are performing price-wise, look for trending assets, look for assets which trend and maybe perhaps slightly differently to the other ones in the market because a lot of them move together is there any correlations there between does it does it tend to go up when bitcoin goes down etc things like that to look for and then really to get involved in crypto you have to start talking crypto to people you're going to start to have to go in out there and, and find out because the thing about it is it's like as you can see here i could talk i could talk for i could keep this this video going for the next six hours and talk non-stop about crypto but, um, you, you know, so there's so much out there to learn. So much, so much, so much. And it's easy, it's accessible. And one of the great ways to do it is to be like in the Discord, talk in like need to know crypto thread, which is part of the crypto channel in the, it's one of, that's what the Discord name for rooms are, channels. Uh, in the Discord and talk to like, um, you know, Dirty Jers, our, our friend from New Jersey that likes a whole bunch of different cryptos. You know, he doesn't, he's not out there claiming to be like giving, to be able to give you the answer to what's this, what, you know, 42. He's not going to do that for you with any crypto. Um, but he's going to, he's, he's interested, he wants to help and we want to grow that side of the, of the Discord, you know. And then there's me, like I'm a crypto YouTuber. I'll just prove it here with the last 10 seconds of this video by running my intro clip actually, in fact. And thanks very much if you have been watching along here, if you've hit like so far, because I really do appreciate that. There you go, crypto technical analysis, you see? Been doing this on YouTube for years. Yeah, so come back again. <laughs>